The ears to our world organization believes access to information is access to education. They provide innovative, simple, and appropriate technologies to schools and communities in remote, rural, and impoverished regions of the world. They learned how important the little LED lamp on their self-powered radios is, especially to communities that live largely or entirely off the grid. So they created an easy-to-build kit for a bright, long-lasting LED mini lamp that's powered by a surprising resource, the residual energy in depleted AA batteries. The finished devices used in the field are mostly built from recycled parts for an environmentally light footprint and can be sold in the profits reinvested in local schools, health clinics, and other crucial services. In 2014, they decided to make a simple kit, the Humanolite, that they can sell on the market and use the proceeds to fuel their mission. School children, makers, experimenters, and hobbyists will all find this a fun kit to assemble and a useful light in times of emergencies. And we're going to build one here today. Let's begin by taking a look at the kit. There's a little manual here that tells you about the kit and gives you the instructions on building it. We've got the PC board. Only a few components here. We've got a battery holder for our dead AA cell. A couple of transistors. We've got a coil here. We've got a little single pole double throw switch, but... They're probably only using one throw on that. A small capacitor, a couple of different LEDs, so I guess you could choose whichever one you wanted to use. We're going to use the big one here, though. And a couple of resistors. So not a lot to this. Let's get started. They want us to install the inductor first, and that's this deal here that looks like a capacitor with a piece of heat shrink over it. And then we take the larger of the two resistors, this is a 10K, it's resistor R1. Next, we take the smaller resistor, which is a 100K, and install it as R2. Next, we'll take the capacitor. It's marked 471. This is the only capacitor in the kit, so we probably can't mess this up. Now, before we go any further, I'm going to solder these into place. We'll start out with a soldering iron that's got a good clean tip that's been tinned. We'll put the tip right there on the board where it'll touch the lead in the board at the same time. And feed a little solder in the bottom side here. Now we'll clip the leads off of these. Now next we should install the LED, and we've got two different choices here. You could use the smaller one and just install it right here, coming straight, and this would make a good light for a book reading. Or you could install an LED out the end like this and use it like a flashlight. That's the way that I'm going to do it. Now you'll notice on the LED, it's got one side here that's flat. We match that up with the flat side here on the board. So we'll want to bend our leads and affix it just like this. Now we'll insert one of the 2N 3094 transistors. We'll do Q2 first. And you'll notice that there is a flat side on the transistor here. We match that up with the flat side drawn on the board. Then we'll do the other transistor. And we'll notice the flat side is on the opposite direction on this one. Now let's solder those in place. And now we've only got two parts left to solder in. And that's the switch in the battery holder. We'll do the switch next. Now this is going to be a little bit trickier to hold in place. So I've turned the board up sideways. And I'm going to solder the center leg first. And now I'm going to press the switch into the board. And then release the soldering iron so that it gets seated in the right position. Now we can do the other two. And then the final part here is going to be the battery holder. The positive end goes this way, and you can see it's labeled positive inside there. 
Now let's see if it works. The first battery I'm going to try is one here that's brand new. It measures 1.58 volts. Good bright light there. And keep in mind, this LED is probably rated for more than a volt and a half, but we're powering it from that. Now let's try a couple others. This one came out of a mouse. It measured 1.3 volts. And you can see it's practically as bright as the fully charged battery. Now here's one that came out of a Walkman that probably has not been used in eight years. It measured 0.4 volts. Well, 0.4 volts is just a little too low to get any light out of this. So I got to thinking, where can I find a dead battery around here? <coughs> and I found the perfect place, and it was in the remote control for the Nintendo Wii. I found a battery in there that measures 0.77 volts. So, a good test case for a completely dead battery. And we've got a little light there. It's not as much as we had with a fully charged one. But then this battery has been dead for quite some time. So there you go. The Humana Light. A great little easy to do project. It would be a perfect first soldering experience. Reliable electricity is still not available to 25% of the world's population. This simple light source is powered by a simple AA cell. And it lasts up to five weeks. The simple yet magical circuit dramatically extends the life of the AA cell. You can even insert a dead AA battery and it will light for days. You can find the Humanolite at UniversalRadio.com for only $15.95.